this is not very difficult to understand from intuition that this is what is going to happen suppose this is how the orientation of umbrella is and the rain indeed is coming vertically downwards consider this droplet of rain which just crosses which is just outside the periphery of umbrella and is going to fall vertically downward but the thing is tom is moving so as the rain comes down tom also goes towards the droplet so after some time when dro rain droplet comes down a certain distance then the distance with the tom's eye of with the tom's body that is going to reduce because what would happen when the rain comes down a little then the tom is also going to go near to the rain so what would happen when the droplet was here when that is going to come down that is going to come near to tom because tom has moved towards the raindrop right and the same droplet is going to be more near to tom because as it comes down the tom is moving towards the drop so tom the distance between the drop and the tom's vertical posture that's going to decrease and decrease and decrease as the time passes so this is the path that tom would think that the rain is coming from that's why the rain would seem to be coming obliquely because tom would think that he is stationary and rather the raindrop is coming towards him towards him in the similar way when we sit on a vehicle and we see outside we think we we think that we are stationary and the other objects are moving in opposite direction in the same way the tom would think that tom is stationary and the rain droplet is coming obliquely so now now for him to be safeguarded from this rain droplet what he have to do is he have to rotate his umbrella a little and put it like this okay so that's the reason why uh, rain droplet although which is coming vertically downward will appear to be coming obliquely okay so this is how we feel it this is how we understand it to the core and the result actually was given from the formula of vector relative velocity that we have seen okay okay uh, so uh, this is what it is so finally what we are learning from here is the rain drop uh, the relative velocity of rain with respect to an observer would be the velocity of rain minus velocity of observer fine if this is the velocity of rain and observer is moving towards right then the negative of the velocity of observer minus o would be like this and this is the angle this is the vertical angle theta which the rain uh, would would be making with the vertical uh, from the point of view of the observer so this angle theta tan theta we can see from basic geometry is vo upon vr so the angle theta which the observer would think that the rain is making from vertical would be tan inverse vo upon vr and the magnitude of relative velocity of rain with respect to observer would be root over vr square plus vo square fine that is easy coming from vector okay so this is what it is this is this is what initially we have studied in uh, relative velocity and this is one application of uh, uh, the kind of problem that you see in the book okay now having learned this let's solve one problem the problem is like this uh, suppose uh, a boy is holding his umbrella at 30 degree with respect to vertical when it is raining if he is holding the umbrella at 30 degree that means the rain is making an angle of 30 degree with respect to vertical so this information is given that the rain is making an angle of 30 degree with respect to vertical when the boy is not moving 
when he is a stationary that means the rain is actually making 30 degree with respect to vertical okay now the boy starts running uh, he starts running okay suppose he starts running at 10 kilometer per hour then what happens is rain appears to be coming vertically downward when he starts running rain appears to be coming vertically downward so the question is uh, what is the velocity with which rain is coming down the actual velocity with respect to ground and not with respect to observer what is the velocity with respect to ground that the rain is actually coming down with so you know what you have to do you have to get your act together and get this one spend some time spend at least five minutes thinking about it and actually try hard and get your answer do work out you're not going to learn this by listening okay let's try and solve this it was given that the rain is coming at 30 degree with respect to vertical but it was not given 30 degree like this or 30 degree like this on which side of the vertical the rain is coming we'll consider both the sides and we'll eliminate one of them then it was given if the boy is starts to run at 10 km per hour then the rain appears to be coming vertically downward that means the velocity of rain with respect to observer is like this velocity of observer velocity of rain with respect to observer is velocity of rain minus velocity of observer Velocity of observer are given like this, 10 km per hour to its right. So minus VO, this is minus VO, velocity of observer. This is velocity of rain with respect to observer. 